Nice to know that uh, in Hyderabad we have a, an ECMO program starting in a Kim's hospital there. So ECMO does save lives. I think that's an important point why ECMO needs to be done. And uh, as other speakers were talking here, the ECMO is expensive, especially in the Western world, but that can be customized to Indian setup to do relatively cost-effective way to save lives there. And then I think uh, what Kims is doing is kind of an important uh, job of promoting and then uh, promoting the knowledge and disseminating the knowledge and then adopting this, this technology uh, in this country. Uh, ECMO is the artificial heart-lung support for the failing heart or lungs or both. Okay? It is a temporary support for a reversible heart and lung dis uh, conditions. Okay? So if it's done appropriately in the right indications, it actually saves life there. So Kim's Hospital has a multi-speciality hospital with a lot of people with a good training, um, good experience. And then there are doctors coming from overseas who, are, who already have experience in ECMO, actually managing the, uh, going to manage ECMO here. And they're also using this venue to who increase the knowledge of people around and the people in the country. Okay. This is also a conference of a, a national and an international ECMO society. So the benefit for the, uh, the participants is two, two folds. One is, first of all, they learn, they understand the ECMO, uh, and then they know when to refer a patient to for ECMO from their own center, even if they don't have ECMO. The second part is, the if they're going to start an ECMO, um, they have a know-how and then where to start with all the information they're going to get it here. So I have talked about the first talk was about uh, the pathophysiology of ECMO. This is understanding what is the physiological process in the lung function and also uh, during ECMO. And then the second thing is, uh, another talk I'm going to have is uh, when to start ECMO. What are the criteria to start ECMO that I'm going to talk next time.